What's up guys? NFL Talk here. Um here with the second video of the night. The Minnesota Vikings in a huge upset defeating the Carolina Panthers. Um 22 to 10. The Carolina Panthers scored 10 points in the first quarter. The um Minnesota Vikings two points only. From since then the Carolina Panthers have not scored a single point at all. They would never score a single point after the first quarter. That's insane. And the Vikings would end up scoring field goals, a touchdown for, for each of the second, third, and fourth quarter. The all the last three quarters, basically. They have a touchdown and a couple of field goals. Carolina Panthers, nothing at all. The Vikings defense is no joke. The same goes for the Carolina Panthers defense, which showed up very well too. But you would think that the Carolina Panthers offense would outmatch the offense of the Vikings, which in fact they kind of did. They definitely did, in at least in the passing aspect. However, it didn't matter one damn bit because the Carolina Panthers offense was eaten alive by the defense of the Vikings. The Vikings were eating some, having some Newton soup right in here, man. The way how they abused Cam Newton in this game was incredible. And it has to be said, the Vikings, I mean, not the Vikings, the Carolina Panthers offensive line is extremely suspect right now. Very suspect. Um, I don't know what's going on. Ever since the um, Super Bowl of between the Broncos and the Carolina Panthers, this team is, seems to be getting exposed. From their offensive line. Because everybody seems to get to Cam Newton. A lot. This guy's getting knocked down to the floor. So many times. And he this it was at one point. This boy had to come out the game. It was insane man. Very insane. That offense is very suspect. And they need to address that. Pronto. They're down. One and two. Now. And the Vikings are 3-0. and zero. That's crazy, man. So let's look at the Vikings. Uh, Sam Bradford, 18 completions, uh, 171 yards, one touchdown pass. Pretty much regular. Um, nothing at all um, great about it. Pretty much completed 50% of his uh, passes. Um, no one really standing out. Uh, you have this boy Randolph, the only pretty, really only person that stood out much. Seven receptions, 70 yards, the only pass touchdown at all. Actually, the only touchdown period. The only touchdown period throughout the entire game for the Minnesota Vikings, 70 yards from Randolph. You have this boy Diggs, didn't have much of a game. Well, he had a couple of good games. Four receptions, 40 yards, and nothing from really from the rushing at all. Um, the offense was just average, nothing particularly great about it. It was their defense, which was the problem for the Carolina Panthers because they were getting sacks all over the place. Sacks, they had interceptions from that secondary it was insane. Um, Cam Newton, 21 completions out of 35 attempts, 267 yardage. You would think that, okay, he has something. But he has three interceptions, though. Three interceptions. Um, Greg Olson, six receptions, 64 yards. Um, this boy, Jen Jr., 60, um, 62 yards. Brown with 57 uh, Wilt Taker, 34 yards. 
that's pretty that's pretty much it um a huge number of points i mean yardage from these receivers but it didn't matter a damn thing the rushing game non-existent because stewart is gone um he was in playing this game the defense uh for the panthers were good for sure uh they bent sometimes only a little because the Vikings in no way didn't have much of a big time game on offense. It was that offense for the Carolina Panthers that did them dirty. Uh, that offensive line needs checking real bad. Because they can't have Cam Newton getting sacked all the damn time. Sheesh, man. This boy was getting rocked everywhere. So that's pretty much it for this game. Uh, Minnesota goes 3-0, which is a huge surprise. You would think after Ted Ted Bridgewater, I think that's his name is, uh, went down and he will not be back. He probably won't be even back for the next season, which is a huge bummer. But they still 3-0. That defense potent. They're just like the Broncos. I would say the offense for the Broncos is much better, but they seem to be in the same predicament where the defense is pretty much carried the game. They're carrying the team overall. And now you have the Carolina Panthers 1 and 2, which is not the um, Panthers that we know. And something needs to be done about that offensive line. That's a serious problem. So that's it for me. Uh, more videos to come, right? Peace.